Hi, I'm John, and this is my brother, Charlie. Charlie, say hi, or smile, thank you. And I wanna share with you today uh, about Dr. Spiegel's hyperbaric oxygen therapy. I'm gonna share a story of Charles uh, before he got dementia. He worked for my father about 20 years mowing yards in a landscaping business, and he used one of those big walk-behinds, right, Charlie? Yeah. And, and he did everything. He was able to do everything a landscaper could do, and he did it very good. And then when he lived with my sister, he washed the dishes, he uh, vacuumed the floor, he knew when the mail was coming and went out and got it, right? Did you go get the mail for Ludie, Charlie? Remember? And um, he knew what day the trash man was there. So he was very, very. And also in Special Olympics, he was in golf. He went to state, got two gold medals in state. He went to uh, swimming. He got, went to state and got two different medals, uh, two different years. Uh, he also did power lifting and bowling. So these are the things that he did. And so it was about a year, year and a half ago, we noticed a little change. And we knew dementia being his age, he's 59, dementia was starting to come on. And um, it's, it's kind of funny because it kind of slowly creeps up on you what he can do and can't do, right? And so now um, within a year and a half, um, he wasn't able to do hardly anything for himself. I dressed him, I toiled him, uh, I put him to bed, I helped him eat. So he did some of the things and he had trouble standing up and walking. He had very, very real dizzy. He couldn't stand by himself. All right, so then we went to Dr. Uh, Spiegel and went into the hyperbaric oxygen therapy and uh, we could start to see a little bit change daily. It was amazing. Each day he did a, cert a certain thing. And as far as sleeping, when he used to sleep, he would be kicking his feet and raising his hands up and, you know, and it was hard to get him to sleep. Now, I just put him to bed, falls asleep, and sleeps there like a little baby. Right, Charlie? You like that sleeping? So he has a, also um, a sea mask, which is a CPAP, which helps him. And let's say, as far as eating, I sometimes had to cut up things really small for him to eat. And now, uh, I was just watching the other day, he can manipulate the fork and the spoon to pick up stuff, and uh, that's really great. Also, in drinking, uh, before uh, we had the, the oxygen therapy, his hands would shake like that. And the doctor said, the, the, the um, eye doctor said he had double vision. And so now you can give him something and he'll, he, he reaches for it and he doesn't have to uh, shake or anything. He does a really good job. And he, he tries to drink. He tries to be very, very now independent now. And he knows he's getting better, right? You're a smart machine, Charlie, right? Yeah. Look at him. Go ahead. Is it good? Yeah, yeah. And as far as his facial expressions, they're like like normal face. He responds to people. He listens. He looks at the environment. Now when we're tra traveling and makes the other day, he goes, oh, there's a church. He does have a, a speech impediment, so it's really hard to get some of the words out. And he won't stop. He'll just keep talking until he finishes his sentence, which is really good. He had to use the walker. I had to hold his hand, right? He couldn't stand up by himself, so now he can stand up by himself. And when we first started the oxygen therapy, I had to walk in front of him to show him which way to go to the, uh, to the therapy room. And uh, it was uh, last week, we were changing him, and I was about ready to get him this thing, and he says, oh, let me do it. And he goes out, goes to the door, right? And I go, all right, you know a way to go, Charlie? He goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he walks, he walks uh, to the, down the long hallway, which is a really long hallway. And when he gets to the door, he says, open the door. <laughs> so I opened the door for him and I said something to him. And he goes, I said, you're welcome. He, he said, I said, thank you. And he said, you're welcome. It, it's just a miracle what he's doing. He's communicating. And we got two more days and I'll probably see a lot more changes within the two days. So. 
I want to thank uh, Dr. Spiegel because he really gave my brother back to me.